I know this is hard for you, but it's time. I know. I know. You have my word. Daddy, can we please go outside and play with Max? I don't know. It's kind of rainy. You should probably ask your mom. Go get your raincoat. Come over here. Come over here. We're faster than he is. Ready? Mm. Look, he's keeping it away from me. When we first brought Max into our home, we knew it was going to be a challenge. It was much more than we expected. Let's get you ready. There we go. Is it safe? It's safe enough. Zombies are very slow. It's just up close that they get a little bitey. Thought he was out of his f***ing mind. Oh, are we? So Max was George's friend from way back before I even knew him. Um, and then when Max died, well, George, um, he kind of, he talked me into it. My policy, as you well know, supports the rights of all Americans, whether they be living or recently deceased, and deplores any and all acts of aggression against them. Sully and Lowell, you've dialed the right number. Simon, I'm telling you, these bastards are really pissing me off. I'm going to defend what's mine. I'm going to defend it until the day I die. I'm, I'm going to go in my car and I grab my freaking tie iron. I'm going to go right to where they are. I don't care who answers the door. Their mother, their little sister. I don't care. I'm going to bring my freaking tie iron and I'm going to end this today. I'll remind you all once again that they have no brain function. Unless your job is loping across a parking lot, they're really no threat to the workforce. In 2011, the CDC released a guide on how to prepare for and coexist with zombies. Within a year of its release, the first of the dead appeared. A week after that, the outbreak was contained. I was on the air with Shorty Cook when the calls first started coming in. I'm Simon Wright. My guest is Shorty Cook. Caller, you've dialed the right number. Simon, you are not going to believe this. I'm down near the North End Hospital. There are dead people walking around in the streets. Did you say dead people walking around on the streets? You're right. I don't believe it. Glenn in Manchester, you've dialed the right number. Simon, the end times are upon us. These are the days. These are the days that were written about in the Bible. These, this is the book of Revelation. The dead are walking among us. Can you believe it? Jesus is coming. This is the apocalypse. I don't know if I would have called it a zombie apocalypse. It was more of a zombie inconvenience. Next on the line is Ethel in Nashua. Ethel, you've dialed the right number. I got some dead people here in my garden. How, how do I get rid of them? You have dead people walking around in your garden. Yeah, they're trying to pick at the tomatoes. Have you tried yelling at them? Let us not forget that the cardiovascularly challenged are people too. They're just dead. You're doing the right thing. No. If you start to feel bad for him, just remember, he's dead. Where are you gonna take him? We always like to go fishing up at the lake. I thought I'd take him there. Of course it's the right thing to do. I mean, look, he's tied up in the backyard right now trying to eat my neighbor's dog. George, promise. I promise. Okay. Be true to your word. I know George loves him, but I mean, it's just, it's strange. I mean, he's dead. He, he's a zombie, like in the movies. We have kids, it just isn't safe. Hey guys, Matt. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Good to see you again. Good to see you. Ah, Maxie, how's it going? One more for my friend here. Uh, no problem. Thanks. It was tough. Uh, at first, we couldn't get him into a bar. Uh, there you go. How are you doing today? Good, man. Is he dead? Describe the smell? It's not that bad. Old hot dog water. I like to tell the kids that it's nature's way of reminding us that everyone is special. It's nature's way of reminding us that he's dead. Well, buddy, you had us some good times. Just think, you won't have to miss us too much because, you know, no brain function. Just think of it as a long fishing trip. 
Yeah, I get to sit back, relax, read a book. Hey. Buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. Daddy, where's Max? I had this dream that I couldn't breathe. Now, what the hell's that supposed to mean? Just a friend. I hear ya! I hear ya! I'm not dead, you know! <laughs>